Okay, we're now going to measure the subcooling. Um, so we're now using the discharge pressure on the gauge, which is converted into a saturated bubble temperature. And we're going to record those the same as we did with superheat on the log sheet. So 19.35. 43.3 saturated bubble. We're physically going to measure the liquid line. Now this in reality could be the liquid line just as it enters the cooled space. So on the ambient side of the cooled space. We take that temperature once it's settled and we record it on the log sheet. And then it's simply the difference between the saturated temperature and the line temperature recorded in K because again it's a temperature differential and that's 6.7 K of subcooling. That ensures that we're getting pure subcooled liquid into the expansion valve. So that's, that's ideal.